Hey, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. We've already looked at the FV4005 and the AMX50B, two auto loaders, one's a TD and one's a heavy tank, that have seen some significant changes in the recent mini update, balance update, patch update, whatever you want to call it. Now, the 4005, well, that's a beast of a tank. It's really, really benefited. 50B, not so much. That's a sort of shadow of its former self. But what about this little medium, the TVP? Well, I've always liked the TVP. It's always been a fantastic little tank. Never been the easiest of mediums to get on with, but if you, you know, once you get used to it, it is a beauty of a tank, I'm not gonna lie. But what about its changes? What changes has this thing seen? Well, it's at the crossing capacity coefficients increased. For road, it's now 45. For ground, 35. And for water, 17. That's a bit of a buff. It means it will now go through that terrain a lot better. It's nicer, it's lovely. Vehicle durability, that's its hit points, have been decreased by 50. Ah, okay, you're not really gonna miss those 50 hit points because if you stick the, uh, the equipment on it, then that's going to increase again. APCR is replaced by AP. That's not a bad thing and not many of you are going to notice it. Reload time of the full magazine will be increased. That's a bit of a nerf, almost to a second. Is that making the tank struggle? Well, we will see. Reload time between the showers and the magazine, however, will be decreased by 0 0.5 seconds. That is a significant buff. That means on the interclip, so you've got four in the magazine and loading from one to two, two to three, three to four, it's now been reduced by half a second. That's massive, that, that is actually quite big. And the dispersion after firing will be decreased by one. Again, that's a bit of a buff to be honest with you. Decreasing it, not increasing it, decreasing it. So what about the tank itself? I mean, has it suffered? Well, I don't think it has. I mean, this thing is a bit of a beast and we're gonna get into some games to have a look at it. But before we do, let's have a look at its new stats. These are the stats. Damage per minute is 2.7. Magazine reload time is 22.6 seconds. That's quite big, but it's always been quite big. Re shower reload time is now 1.5 seconds. I mean, that is insanely quick. Compare that to the FV, which is 2.5, a whole second difference. Four showers in the magazine. Armor piercing, 2.54, not the best, but it's a medium. Uh, explosive anti, you know, anti-tank is 3.19, sorry, it's 3.19. High explosive is 55. Average damage, well, on your AP now, you're gonna get churn out 310. On your heat, you're gonna turn out 260. And on your high explosive, 420. These are pretty, pretty decent for a medium. So let's jump into a game and see what it's actually like. Like I said, I've always liked the TVP. I've always thought it is a truly fantastic tank. It's a unique type of medium in tier 10. However, unlike the Progetto, which is an auto reloader, the TVP has always been a full blown auto loader. And with four shells in the magazine, it's always been pretty tricky. The, the, the aim of the TVP is to get all four shells into the enemy if you can. That way, you have the ability to put a lot of pain down very, very quickly. It's not always going to work that way. And like with most autoloaders, you need to retreat to a place of safety while you are loading that magazine. Thing I do like about it, I mean, you're never gonna really struggle with this gun. I mean, look at this, the accuracy from distance is pretty, pretty sh shockingly great. And I'm gonna give this T57 Heavy a little bit of a hard time in a moment as well. And the TBP has never really struggled with a poor gun, if I'm being honest with you. That decrease in dispersion is actually really nice. Look at this by M48 pattern. I mean, that is quite a lengthy shot to make and it doesn't really suffer with any accuracy type problems. The thing that's always been the downside to the TVP is it's relatively weak armor. And as I said, that relatively long reload. But if you can deal with the long reload and you understand the armor profile, 
there is no reason why you shouldn't be churning out as an average player around 2,000 damage. I mean, the clip itself, if you can get all four shots to land, you should be hitting, you know, at least 1,200 if you're lucky. Um, so that's what you should be aiming for. So, you know, even if you put this thing in arm's way, you should be easily clearing 2,000 damage. If you're not, then you're doing something wrong in this tank. It has benefited from the recent patch update, not gonna lie. It's a much nicer tank, but, and it's a massive but, the tank has always been tricky and it will continue to be tricky. It's not an easy tank to play, never has been. So if you are hearing through the grapevine, and no doubt a lot of you are, that the TVP is somehow broken or suddenly somehow OP, then don't be misinformed or misguided. Yes, it is a stonkingly good tank, but the people who are really benefiting from this are the super duper unicorns because they themselves are really seeing the advantages that the TVP is bringing to the game. The average player, you know, don't forget the average win rate is around 47, 48%, will struggle in this tank if they don't know the maps and they don't know where to put it. That's not looking down on those players. It's just saying, guys, you need to know the maps, you need to know the tank in order to play it well. That's not to say you're not gonna have fun in it. I mean, I rolled out in it and I've had oodles of fun in this thing. I really have, but like most tanks, the ability to get you into trouble is there and unless you know the maps and unless you know the tank your ability to get yourself out of trouble isn't there and therein lies your problem with the tvp pretty much like i was saying with the fv4005 you've got to be careful because these tanks can get you into a world of pain and once you're in that pain if you don't know your escape routes if you don't know your places of safety then it really you really are going to get hurt um, I mean, for already here, look, I mean, we, we, we over peaked on the middle and almost all our hit points have gone. We're one shot to virtually everything on the map. Therein lies the problem with the TVP. However, now I'm going to put him into a relatively safe position, reload that magazine and just bide my time. And this is what you can do with the TVP. It's a beautiful little medium to do this. You get it back to a safe position with its insanely good gun at the moment, and it is insanely good, you are able to smack people from the other side of the map, as you will see very shortly. The TVP, I mean, if you look at the changes that it's had, and none of them are massive, and none of them are really gonna put the tank in a different sort of light, but surprisingly, they have. They've made the TVP, especially to those players who are incredibly good, you know, we're talking the 60% plus win rate players, it's put them into a position whereby the TVP is an incredibly effective medium. Thing is, and this is, I mean, look at this on the E100, bang, bang, and one, bang, maybe one more, and bang again. That's a thousand damage almost, <laughs> from the other side of the map. And that is what you can now do with this thing because the dispersion has been slightly decreased. Not only that, that reload into clip has also been decreased. Those decreases have really made this gun super, super effective. And that's why I'm loving it. I mean, look, again, these aren't setting the world on fire games. The idea is to show you how good the tank can be and how realistically you should be looking at playing it. We've done 2.1k damage here, bounced nothing. We've been on 700 hit points for a vast majority of the game. And now we are hopefully going to give this uh, this tank a hard time. Um, unfortunately, I was going to give him a hard time, but the M60 just gets in the way there, which isn't a problem because I know who he is and he's a good player from the clan hate. We've now done 2.3k. We've got two more tanks left to go, a T22 and a WZ121. And they should be no difficulty realistically. I mean, the T22 is a one shot, the 121 is more of a concern. Thankfully, someone's gonna whittle him down to a one shot, and then we're just gonna do what TVPs love to do the most. We're just going to sort of mop up the remnants of the enemy. 
again I mean they just can't get the gun round there's things in the way of it but we eventually get there and we take that kill and then the 121 bless him comes straight out straight into the gun we do 2.6k again not setting the world on fire but we win the game and we walk away with three kills I'm not dissatisfied with that I'm, I'm, you know, we get a second class for our troubles, mainly because we took the cap and we took three kills and we did some assistance damage. And this is what you should be looking at doing in the TVP. Obviously, those really good players will be looking at absolutely spamming this thing to make everybody out there, you know, in a world of pain. And why not? Getting the TVP now and rolling out on the TVP isn't as daunting as it used to be. It's still, and I have to overemphasize this, guys, it's still a very tricky tank to play. So don't be misled thinking that because everybody's saying that it's sort of broken or amazing or whatever, that it's suddenly going to be a much easier tank to play because it isn't. It's still an insanely difficult tank. And if you stick it in the wrong place and you do the wrong thing, as I say, you're just going to be end up in the garage. This thing is an ambush tank. It's not meant to be front line. It is a med and a lightly armoured med at that. You should be looking to effectively be picking off those tanks with the four clip magazine that it has. And that's the idea behind it. The idea is to keep it in a little bit of a safe area, wait till you've fully loaded, then ambush the enemy. As simple as that, really. It's it's that straightforward. And I love playing this tank for that very reason, because you can do that. Now we've already we've dished out 1800 damage here. We are now in effectively a world of pain. You can see on the mini map that um, I've got three, I've got two heavy tanks and a medium tank on the other side of the map. We are we're, we're two tanks up. Don't get me wrong, but we are sort of swamped over this side so it's going to take everything we can do to try and keep this side safe and try and keep ourselves safe we've now done 3.3k we've we've managed to smack quite a few of the enemy tanks we haven't taken any kills yet but we are doing okay we've lost our gunner we've lost our we, we've got weak tracks and we've only got 126 hit points left and i can see the e50m is pushing I'm asking desperately for our heavies to get involved because they don't want to, apart from our T-57 heavy. What can we do with the 50M? Well, we can track him, tip him on his side, and then just take him out of the game. Just like that. 4.3K, hello. Uh, maybe, no, we just get the track there. This is why I love this tank. This tank has the ability to do this. 4.3K knocked out, one kill, hold the line, and effectively, be dominant on the battlefield the tvp's always had the ability to do that the recent update hasn't changed that it's still got that ability and we end up doing 4.6k it's nowhere near enough for a mastery as such it's going to be a second class i believe but i'm happy with that game again because it goes to show what you can do in a tvp you can knock out a lot of damage and this is the thing I'm finding the TVP more user friendly now than that of the AMX 50B, which makes you scratch your head. How did that happen? How is it that the 50B, which is a heavy tank, is now less user friendly than the TVP, a tricky medium tank? I found that the TVP has really benefited from the recent update. As I've said in pre you know, earlier, it's always been a great tank, always been a tank that has the ability to knock out a lot of damage. And the top players have already known that. Where players struggle with the likes of the TVP are the more inexperienced players. They fail to realise that the TVP is a very lightly armoured medium. And it's an ambush tank. It's always been an ambush tank. The idea is, stick your nose out, empty your entire clip into an unsuspecting enemy and then whilst you're on your reload relocate 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 and the recent update hasn't actually changed that what it's done is made the tvp more accurate with a faster firing gun and you know that's a good thing because the tvp has always been a tank that has struggled with its gun 
and that's caused a lot of problems with a lot of players. Here we've done, we've already knocked out 1500, we've had a couple of bounces, but again, you know, the idea behind the tank is to relocate, get yourself back into a decent position, and then unleash onto the enemy. That is why it's a pure ambush medium. Slightly different to the Progetto, because the Progetto is a auto reloader compared to an auto loader. The irony is, I found this one is more user friendly now than the 50B. And that's ironic because the 50B is a heavy, and heavies, by their definition, normally are easier to play than mediums. Because with mediums, you've got the fact that you haven't got the armor and you've got that mobility to move around and do certain things. Now, the 50B has sort of suffered substantially from the recent patch. And I still believe that Wargaming sort of got it wrong that they intended the FV to be like the 50B and the 50B to be like the FV. However, this medium has certainly benefited because it's a beautiful tank. Now, some of the top players in the game have already known it's a beautiful tank. Here we've done 3.4K after a slow start. That's a very lucky bounce from the Yoma. Don't know how that happened. But this is the thing about the TVP. You can get troll bounces every now and then. As I've said, I've always loved the TVP. I've always thought it's a fantastic tank this update hasn't really changed my opinion it's just made it slightly more user friendly but the top players already know that anyway we finished that game on 3.6 almost 3.7k a game not setting the world on fire but we get a nice second class and everybody well i like a second class anyway i mean just to show you we get a lovely little second class and i don't care anyway i've been fooded that has been the tvp by all means, comment in everything below because that is what the comments are there for. These comments here, they're there for you to make your comments and your views known, not just me sat here talking away. That's been the TVP, a tank that I think has benefited slightly with the new update. And uh, hopefully you may agree, you may not agree. I don't know. Anyway, until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about having fun being happy.